it's Miranda, and welcome back to Corgi's Wine and Nails. I do have a Corgi, his name is Ryder, and right now he is panting loudly. So um, he likes to get featured in these videos. Part of the reason why we call this channel Corgi's Wine and Nails. And I do have a little sip of wine. And then the fun part today is nails. And I'm really excited to show you this PR kit that I got from Double Dip. Um, this company has um, been really uh, making you know a reputation in the nail community lately and so I've been hearing really good things and I'm excited that I have an opportunity to try them out as well. Um, so I received three colors. I swatched them here for you. Uh, this one is Magnolia, Emerald, and Peach Peel. And then it came with this fun glitter. These are glitter flakes. Um, and they're very malleable and soft um, to use. They don't have any acrylic powder. You can mix them with acrylic powder um, or just use them as is um, on their own to add an accent. And uh, so this is just called Hollow Flake. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a look today. And if you want to see that look, stay tuned. I'm actually going to do um, Magnolia and Emerald. Um, and I'm gonna do a scrub ombre uh, for a couple of the nails. And then I'm going to add a hollow flake accent nail too. So this will be fun. Um, some of the other things that came in the package really quick I wanted to show you was this fun unicorn themed brush. So I'm gonna open this up and use it for the video. I'll let you know what I think, um, but it looks really fun. I just, who doesn't love unicorns, right? <laughs> so cool. And then we have um, their liquids. So this is their dip liquid set. Um, two, three, and four. So that's base, activator, and top gel, um, or top coat. And then uh, there's an extra liquid, which is a cuticle oil. Um, I did a live unboxing on my Instagram, and the cuticle oil, I kind of did a sneak peek. I couldn't help myself. Um, it smells like lavender, so it smelled really nice, and it was really nourishing, so um, I'll show you that at the end. But full disclaimer, when I did these uh, swatches, I have not yet opened these liquids. So this is going to be first impressions um, of me using the liquids. I use some old uh, swatch liquids that I just kind of like keep on hand for swatches. And uh, so it's gonna be a completely honest reaction um, as I use these liquids. And uh, we'll just see how they work. And then it also came with, this kit came with a little buffing block, a nail file, some um, orange wood sticks, uh, and then some extra brush heads. So if you gunk up your brush, which it happens to the best of us and it happens to the worst of us, uh, it just happens to everybody, you know? So uh, yeah, that was really a nice feature, I thought, to come in the kit. So let's get started. Okay, so I think the mini plan is going to be um, emerald thumb, ombre pointer and ring, Silver Middle and um, Magnolia Pinky. I think that's the plan. It might change, but we're gonna go for it. So um, I am gonna do um, base, since I'm doing the scrub, my base color is going to be this uh, Emerald, which is really just like a nice aqua. I really like it. I'm really feeling like a mermaid vibe from this. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, and so far the liquid's very thin. The brush is a black brush, which haven't always had the best um, results with other brands that I've experienced, but we'll see what happens here today. Um, I don't wanna prejudge, but I do like that the brush um, can flare out. Initial thoughts here, first impressions. It does flare out nicely, so that's pretty cool. And then normally I don't dip, I do a pour over method, but I'm just gonna see. Wow, that came out smooth. Okay, hey. Um, for the first coat, not bad. And I'm actually gonna use all the um, products that they sent me in the starter kit. So I'm not using my regular file and regular buffing block. I'm really just gonna see how this goes. But I do have this cute little unicorn brush and it's so soft. Very soft and fluffy, and it's doing its job to brush away the excess powder. I think that looks nice. Um, so let's continue. I 
you've never been to my channel before, uh, my videos are, are talk through videos for the most part. Um, every once in a while I fast forward, but uh, a lot of the people that join me here on my channel just, you know, hang out, drink wine, uh, do their nails too, and uh, you just catch up. <laughs> All right, so here is first dip on this nail. Oh, you know what? I feel like I was going to do, um, yeah, I was, yeah, that's right. I almost thought I messed up. <laughs> I was like, wait, was that my mini plan? Yes, it is. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do that one, Magnolia, and this one, the Emerald. Oh, I don't know, you guys. It's gonna be mermaidy no matter what, you know? Sometimes you just gotta make a decision and just stick to it. Um, as far as odor for the liquids, it does have an odor. Um, it's not overwhelming. It's not as strong as some liquids I've worked with before. So uh, definitely does have, you know, a dip liquid smell to it. Let's see, I'm gonna go back and do a coat on each of those. But um, I do like that there's kind of this plastic insert. Can you see? So there's a, um, a bottle wiper is what that's called. And so when you go like that, it wipes your brush. Um, that insert is really nice. So it helps control the amount of liquid that you apply to the nail and helps keep from like flooding your nail bed and gives you more, uh, you know, precise application. That's a really nice feature. But yeah, I can get right up close to my cuticles and this is going great. I'm gonna wipe my brush in between uh, dip powder applications. The powder is really fluffy and soft and it is applying very smoothly. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm actually really surprised that I like the base because I know I said I wasn't trying to judge, but I was kind of a little nervous if this black brush was gonna be um, troublesome or not, but it seems it seems absolutely perfectly normal. Um, well, actually, not even, I wouldn't even say normal. Some brushes with some popular brands just <laughs> have never been good brushes. So um, I guess I meant to kind of say that even though it's not a clear brush, it's a good brush. And if I goof it up, I like that it came with replacement brushes <laughs> because hey, definitely could happen. You guys know if you watch my channel that when I make mistakes, I keep them in the video. So I'm not gonna ever act like I'm a professional because I am just DIY like you, and sometimes I goof up. And then it's kind of that fun challenge on how are we gonna fix it? <laughs> how are we gonna save this Manny? So, there's where they're making a barking noise. Uh, so I did yard work, um, <laughs> kind of impromptu yard work um, this afternoon, and I was trimming bushes with um, with shears, and so now my like wrists and hands like feel kind of like weak and jittery. So probably not my best idea before <laughs> before making a video. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, like used muscles I haven't used before, I guess, and they're kind of like worn out. Okay, I'm gonna make this one Magnolia, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. And then I'm also gonna be ombre Magnolia on here. So I'll go ahead and take care of the pinky first and get her done and out of the way. Just two dips with really good opacity. Um, 
And since I'm gonna ombre those tips, then I don't wanna get too much bulk. So I'm just gonna leave those as is right now with this, the two coats. Oh my gosh, this lavender is so beautiful. Man, kind of makes me wish I'd done an all lavender mani, this magnolia color. But um, I mean, it's a good, it's a good size jar. It's a half size jar, so I have other opportunities to use it again. I know, um, but lavender is my favorite, favorite, favorite color. Hope I'm staying in shot during all this. Can't even tell you how many times I've started making a video and I. Um, I was out of frame, and that's not very helpful for you, the viewer. I think I'm doing okay today. I know this part isn't very exciting, it's just regular dipping. But we'll do the fun scrubby part in just a minute. And I think that's the part that is more interesting um, because it's kind of been a popular technique lately. Um, here's what I wanna do before I start. Here, I'm gonna try something. Um, I wanna go ahead and activate and buff these two and so that they're smooth when I'm applying the um, clear dip. I didn't get a clear dip, so I'm gonna use my own clear dip that I have on hand, uh, but I wanna see if I can get that, um, that saturation um, to go on on top of an already smooth nail. And I'm thinking I should activate. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the activator. This is an experiment, you guys. I've never used liquids and um, I'm hoping that these colors, oh, see the activator has a white brush, interesting. We give a good drink to that now. The activator smells like activator. Um, it really smells like most brand activator. Honestly, it doesn't sound, smell like really stronger or really very weaker than most brands that I have. Um, and then, okay, so I'm gonna try their little file that they sent. I feel like that side's a little smoother. Let's try the smoother side. I wanna go around my cuticles and go ahead and clean them up gently. And I'm hoping I don't mess up this color, but if I do, you'll see it. It might be a sensitive color. I wanna go ahead and just clean up those cuticles because when I use the layers for the clear, I just wanna make sure that um, I'm kind of giving myself a head start that I don't have like super bulky nails at the end of the day. This might be a little bit different of a routine than what you do and that's totally okay. I think everybody just tries things out and sees what works for them. Um, when I do ombres, then I like to make sure that I really have a really smooth nail before I start adding a clear on top. Um, just because I think it saves me a lot of filing and blood, sweat, tears later on in the day. Okay, so that's filing really easily, um, really nicely. I don't need to mess with this nail yet, um, but let's see what this buffing block does. Looks like this is the finer side. I never use the little one. Here, I'm gonna make sure I get my uh, magnolia lavender color out of the way as the jar is open. And just do a little smoothing out here. It is buffing very easily. I'm not used to having such a tiny little buffer though. I'm used to using a big block. I know a lot of ladies rave about these little tiny buffers, um, so maybe I'll learn to love it. Um, but right now, it's like, I wish I just had my regular block. <laughs> maybe one day I'll be like, 
This is the best thing ever. Right now, it just feels awkward. The way I think I'm going to do this is I'm gonna use some clear. I'm gonna put it in a coffee liner so I don't contaminate my entire clear. So really just what I'm gonna use for this mani. Um, and I'll get two coffee liners. Or I'm sorry, I could call it a coffee liner, it's a cupcake liner. <laughs> Um, I like to do a pour over, so I'm gonna use those cupcake liners to do that. And then get the magnolia close by. And I've got a little, um, you know, old makeup brush that I'm going to do the little scrubby method scrub ombre. This is like, I feel like people started doing this a year or so ago, but I feel like this summer, it's just had a resurgence that people are interested in trying it again. Um, and I don't know if that's just because there's so many new DIY dip powder users in the community. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of like exciting um, to see something that they might not have been introduced to before. Um, so I'm not really sure, you know, it's kind of speculation um, on why it's so popular again. So here's the thing. This is not the liquid's fault, but it didn't catch some of the powder. And that's because I have activator on um, this nail and I didn't wipe the nail. So I could have contaminated this brush, but luckily it did not. Um, but that is why the um, powder didn't catch as well because the liquid itself was um, having a reaction to the activator. So lesson learned on that. I'll have to go um, rinse this one before I do the uh, activator. Or I'm sorry, before I do the space again. But it's okay, because look, all's not lost. Dust off. Let's see if we can get the scrub to work. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just dipping my brush and holding my finger over. And I'm just catching powder on the end and scrubbing my little heart out on the tip here. Very subtle. I'm hoping the second layer is stronger. Okay, let's see. Wipe my brush. Try to just dip the end in and see if I can get it to soak up. Okay, it's catching more this time. I don't know why that second time is like the magic time. So good. Um, I still have a little bit of wetness there. I'll just try to soak it up with the clear. Um, but that's 
ombre to me. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do one full coat of clear on that and we're, we'll be done with that now. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the clear on it though. I really do like this base. I am so impressed that this base works so well. I have like a little stray glitter fleck from somewhere that came out of nowhere. Get it out of there. And I can lay my nail in here flat too to catch. The clear. Um, all right, let's try this nail. I feel like it's kind of thick, but uh, that was a lot of coats. <laughs> okay, so I have rubbing alcohol on this. You can just wipe with a paper towel if you want, but um, I feel like that will really clean off the um, activator. And then just wipe with a paper towel, make sure it's really dry. All right, now let's see how this goes. Let's start scrubbing. I feel like the scrub method might take longer than just doing the tap to ombre. Um, in my personal opinion. I think I like just doing the, um, like the sprinkle ombre method better. Okay, so that's not really picking up a whole heck of a lot of color, but the second time was the best time. Um, on this other nail, so let's see. Let's have a sip of wine. Cheers. And I think it's interesting that the jars are color-coded for the dip liquid. I can't remember really seeing that very often um, across some of the common brands that, um, that I think a lot of people are, are using, but I can see that that would be handy um, to just easily be able to reference which of your liquids is which um, because the jar top is a, uh, color that you just would kind of like adapt to like knowing that your base is red and your activator is yellow and your dip top is blue. Okay, so I think we're getting there on this second coat. Not sure if I love it. Let's see, what do we think? Pretty okay. <laughs> it's like medium okay. I've never tried the scrub um, method before, so probably not ideal to do on a first impressions video, but. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll be able to Still tell what we think about using this system and okay I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna go ahead and move Magnolia out of the way and do one more coat of clear the space is very self-leveling too I feel like it's going on so smooth it's not running around my finger it's not flooding my cuticle lines. It's like staying put where I put it. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of liking 
how it's performing so far. And all right, so we'll see how this stands up when I um, buff and file because I just feel like it looks so thick. I don't think I like the scrub method. I might have to take them off. We'll see. If I do, I'll let you know. Okay, so try to get some of the finer glitters, um, fl flakes in here, the hollow flakes in here. Um, so I'm gonna do, let's see. Um, I'm gonna do a quick dip of clear first um, here. And that's just to protect my nail. Um, I do have a peel base on, but I want to um, just make sure that the flakes don't just like really lock down <laughs> on this nail, that I can actually get them off. <clears throat> so I was kind of shaking this, and as like the big, really big pieces um, floated to the top, I was scooting them back into the jar over to the side here because I want the finer pieces uh, for my nail. I, I feel like the finer pieces are gonna stick on there better. Um, do I know that for sure? No, I don't. <laughs> and we're gonna find out very shortly. Okay, let's do, let's see. A coat of this dip base. And then I'm gonna try to pour, since I've got some of the finer pieces in here, I'm gonna see what happens if I like just sprinkle them. I'm getting some good coverage. Cause then all those little tiny fine pieces, oh that turned out I think pretty good. All got in all the nooks and crannies, oh good. Okay, feeling better about my life choices now. <laughs> Um, I was a little worried about what I was getting myself into because I was like, how am I going to get this glitter to stay on my nail? But it, it looks like it's going to work. Might have to do two coats though. That's okay though. on the camera, ooh, sparkly. Sparkly. Okay, I'm gonna do one more attempt. Add one more layer here. Okay, and this is drying down pretty flat and nice, not so bad, I mean, all things considered. But it's like random shards of silver, silver hollow flake. Um, it's behaving pretty good.
This middle finger better be worth it, right? <laughs> All the love we're putting into this. You might be asking yourself, can she save this manicure? We will find out in today's episode. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and activate these other fingers. The um, pinky and the pointer and finger, pinky pointer ring and thumb. I'll go ahead and activate those. And I like to do a really healthy drink on my nail of the activator. I want to feel it like, it almost feels like cold when it sinks all the way in. Like you can feel your nail bed feels kind of cold. And um, that's how you know you got a good douse. And since I have so many colors, I mean, so many layers. Um, and I also have builder gel on and I have uh, peel base on. So I got a lot going on in these nails. Look at them looking cute though. Don't you worry. Okay, let's douse this one. Cause this one we put five layers on. Man, that's a lot. But these liquids are thin for me putting five layers on. This is still pretty thin. And once we shape it up, ooh, you shall be pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get my liquids out of the way for just a minute. Got kind of a little mess. Let's put some of these sparkles out of the way. Not sparkles. Okay, um, let that dry and soak in. Sort of miss now. With the file that they sent. Hmm. Yeah, I don't love the file that they sent. Could I get it done? Yeah, but it would probably take this 100 years of a video. And I'm sure you guys got other things to do, so I'm gonna go back to my regular file. Um, I did give it a shot. You could probably get the job done, but. I want to get busy on the filing. Okay, I'm gonna do probably the rest of my file shaping and buffing off camera. Um, I am gonna make a video on all about how I do shaping. Uh, so stay tuned, like and subscribe here. Quirky's Wine and Nails. And um, that'll be coming up probably one of my next one or two videos because uh, it's one of my most asked questions um, about my shaping. So I wanted to make that for you guys. Um, I wanted to do an up fresh, up uh, refreshed video. I'm gonna try keeping up with this little orange block though. Let's see how it goes.
So that nail went from looking really funky, really huge, and now it's in a much better place. Uh, so yeah, I think I think we saved it. We saved that nail, that look. Yay! All right, more work to do, and I'll be back. Okay, nail friends. So I just cleaned, uh, you know, rinsed under warm water and did a little nail scrub brush. And I am thrilled with these results. I am so impressed. I still have like paper towel fuzzies on my nails, sorry. Um, but man, this turned out to be a stunning look. Um, this would look good matte, I kind of feel like. But I'm gonna put some um, of their glossy top coat on so I'm gonna activate really quickly and while I'm doing that I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this brand that I had asked some questions and wanted to find out more about them because I was surprised to see on their website that they offer over 2,000 colors um, the website's really professional um, and I was just like why haven't I heard about them before because I've been dipping for two years now and I just you know um, I love to try everything so I was like, why, where did they come from? I wanna know more. And so they were kind enough to share with me that yes, they um, they were selling to salons and, um, and um, like wholesale distributors in the Texas region. And the owner or founder um, is a licensed nail tech and she had created over 2000 custom colors. And so now they're um, expanding into the DIY market. Um, especially in consideration of the pandemic and uh, you know going to a salon isn't really um, I mean there might be a risk I know some people are going I'm not judging if anybody's going but um, you know it's safe to do at home and to have the products salon quality products available to you it's just really cool so I'm gonna let this activator soak in um, I'm gonna probably let it soak in for like 45 seconds and um, and then I'll just cut back over here in a second. Okay, so I really can't get over how obsessed I am. <laughs> the activator is soaked in, but this mini, um, even with five layers, turned out, I think, absolutely stunning. Um, I think that if I were to do this video over again, I wouldn't have done the scrub ombre technique. I would have done the um, ombre with the sprinkle technique that I'm more accustomed to just to like really give the powders more of a showcase. Um, since I was using another brand um, clear in the mix with this, I just don't think that that was like, you know, on these couple nails, um, a fair assessment, but these two turned out perfectly and they were so easy, I barely buffed them. So I'm absolutely impressed with the powders on their own and with the liquids on their own. Um, this is where you guys, this is where it's make or break. This is if your top coat is, is shiny, is it going to be, um, streaky? Is it going to be shiny? Oh, the top coat has a clear brush. Do you see that? Wow. And that bottle has um, a brush wiper in there too. Okay. Interesting. So just the base has that black brush. There's like a little string there. Um, I don't know if that is just because it's like new. It was sitting kind of around the edge there. But let's see. Yeah, it seems okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go for it. So usually you do two to three quick strokes. Wipe your brush. First coat is always two to three, just quick strokes. They don't have to be precise. Wipe your brush. So far, nothing's hardening. That's a great, I love that. Wipe your brush. And um, this company also has a new Facebook group. It's growing really rapidly. And um, so I had just gotten over there the other day and I was already impressed. Um, just like the really good vibes in the community and the best thing about their Facebook group I'm gonna link it down below. They're doing giveaways all the time. So I just feel like you guys have to get over there <laughs> um, And check out these giveaways because they're crazy 
um, how much they're doing uh, for their community over in the Facebook group. Okay, so I can tell it's starting to get a little crinkly. Can you tell? Um, then that's the sign that we would do our next round. And this one can be a little bit more precise. And we can take our time a little bit more. So I'm gonna make sure I get real close to my cuticle without touching. And then just gently bring everything up really nicely. Cap your ends. So far, um, that looks great. Um, I'm excited to see how the rest of the nails go. So we're getting really close. I don't know if I'll speed this up or not, uh, but I know this is a first impressions video um, and as soon as this top coat dries, I'll be able to tell you my final thoughts. Um, up until now, we'll recap. Loved the powders. They were fluffy, they were smooth, they were easy to buff. They even did an ombre with, um, with me being a newbie at doing a scrub ombre. They ombre perfectly. Um, and with me having to use a different brand clear, I'm gonna get their clear. I wanna see how it works. Um, because I'm really impressed with their powder so far. And then last one to do is the thumb. The brush fans out great, I do like that. And um, this does not have a strong odor, actually. Um, I feel like maybe the base smells a little bit stronger, but this does not have a strong odor at all. All right, so I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna let this dry probably two minutes or so, and then I will um, put that cuticle oil on that they sent. It smells like lavender, it smells really good. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the final results. I think um, so far, everything's looking great. Just wanna see how this top coat performs um, and if it still looks shiny here in just a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's been probably just at two minutes and this is definitely dry. So this dries fast, our top coat. But can you guys see how shiny this is? I'm really impressed with these liquids. So I'm gonna put this um, cuticle oil on. Yep, still smells like lavender. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna see, just a little swipe along all the nails really rehydrate that skin after I've been scraping and scrubbing and filing all kind of right in that area. Um, then this is going to bring that skin back to life. Make sure that you have a nice frame around your beautiful mani um, with pretty skin and hydrated cuticles. And it smells nice, it smells fresh. You know how lavender has like that kind of fresh soothing scent. Um, so, you see, it kind of looks a little greasy. Put a little, um... okay, now that looks hydrated to me. Uh, so I'm hoping that you can tell that these colors, they blended amazingly. The powders were such a dream to work with. I'm so excited I got a chance to try this brand. I'm gonna order more stuff. Um, and I just heard about their bingo giveaway. So um, I'll be telling you guys more about this, but they're going to have um, this bingo drawing that you can enter and you can win up to 2000 or you can win $2,000 in products. Um, but I'm gonna tell you more in my next video um, or um, come follow me on Instagram because I'll be talking about that over there too. Um, my IG is Corgi's Wine and Nails as well. But uh, I'll leave more info in my description below and um, on the colors that I used and the products that I tried today. 
So I just want to give a big thank you to Double Dip because man, um, they really, uh, they really came through today. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I'd have been hearing great things about them from other ladies in the nail community, but I just, you know, I needed to try them for myself. And wow, really impressed. Look how shiny this is. Love it. Okay, now I gotta get my other hand done. All right now, friends, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what's on your mind, and I'll talk to you soon. Love ya. Bye.